Hi, my name is Ricky Wynn. I'm a senior application engineer at Hawkridge Systems, and today we're going to be showing you how to change your serial number. It's possible you might have an evaluation license of SolidWorks installed and just purchased a brand new permanent license, or maybe you've just been given a new serial number by your company, right? Let's talk about how to change it out and modify your installation. First thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and look into our control panel. So I'll go ahead and select our control panel. And once we're there, we're going to want to go to uninstall a program. Next, we want to locate the SOLIDWORKS installation that we want to modify in this case. So we'll go to change. Our installation manager will then start going and then we'll click on modify the individual installation on this computer. And we'll go ahead and click on next. From here, we'll be presented with the serial number screen where we're going to put in our new serial. So you can do a copy and paste into here, right? And as well as if you have any additional serial numbers, say like new products, you'll also want to input them here as well. Okay, next we'll click on next. And once we do, a message is going to appear letting us know an active SOLIDWORKS license has been detected on this computer. Right. So to continue, we'll need to click yes to transfer the current license off before we activate the new serial number. So we'll click yes, and then we'll have the product activation turn up. Select our products that we want to transfer off, input our email address, and then also choose how we'd like to deactivate, and then click next. At this point, a few things may happen depending on the situation. If we're going from an evaluation license, we may be prompted that the transfer is going to fail, and that's all right. It's okay because the evaluation license can't be transferred. We just want to make sure the evaluation license is off the computer. If we're going from one permanent serial number to another, the deactivation will succeed, as we can see here. Once that's completed, we'll see that the deactivation is successful. Okay, so it'll show any kind of products. Um, in there for us that's not activated right now and then we'll click on finish after it's connecting to SOLIDWORKS it's going to take us to the product selection page so you can see here in the product selection page um, if there's any additional products that you also want to install that wasn't installed before you can check those on you can also click on select different packages or products as well in this case, if there's nothing that you need to modify, go ahead and click on Next. And once we do that, it's just going to give you a summary. In addition, if you do need, um, say for example, we did forget to change the products, you can always go back here to Change as well, or also Back. We can also click on I Accept the Terms of the SOLIDWORKS License Agreement, and then click Modify Now. That's it. So next, what we can do is click on Finish. And let's test it. Let's make sure it's using the correct serial number. So first thing is we'll want to go ahead and open up SOLIDWORKS. So let's go ahead and search for SOLIDWORKS. And then open it. And then kind of like before, we're going to be asked to activate in this case before we deactivated them. So I'll select all the products and then we'll input the email address in as well. And then we'll go ahead and click on next. We can see that the activation was successful for the currently activated products that we have. And then we'll click on finish. So now to test to make sure we are using the correct serial number, we'll switch over to SOLIDWORKS, help, and then go down to About SOLIDWORKS. Here is where we'll be able to check our serial number and just ensure that it's using the correct one. So in today's video, we covered how to change your serial number. Whether you're going from an evaluation to a permanent serial number or from one permanent serial number to another. Thanks for watching.